They were two of the major leaders of a uh, group of artists called the Stars, which in 1979 did a uh, extremely important uh, illegal uh, exhibition of their work in front of the National Gallery in Beijing. If you look back 20, 25 years ago, there were a few reasonably well-developed local markets, like uh, you know, in Japan, like in the Philippines, like in Indonesia. But the, the elephant in the room, which is China, was basically nowhere until 1979, which was you know, the tale of the Cultural Revolution. It's an increasingly important continent. There are many facets to it. It's not just China. We've got galleries from Hong Kong, from Indonesia, from Japan. We are really excited about Asian art here in London because we know our collectors are. Our collectors want to see it. They want to experience it. We can't necessarily get to China or to Hong Kong regularly, so we're able to offer them a really interesting slice of this extraordinary tapestry that is Asian art. More and more middle class people are buying our works now, not, ju not just the new rich or old rich we used to think. And people are more getting more uh, educational and uh, enjoying the artwork. So it's getting bigger and bigger and fast. The salty egg, salty dog eggs, is an old tradition that people would bring it into the, the to, to the funeral. It's a, a part of the funeral ceremony things uh, in Asian in Asian China. So that's funny because if if we say someone is going to sell salty dog eggs in China, that means the people is dying. James Good is really famous in Brazil. Most of the collectors know him. And, but in London, we are starting to do. But he was in the, there was a book that was launched a few months ago that is called A Hundred Painters of Tomorrow. And James Good is the only Brazilian that is in the book. So the things are starting.